real quick. Yeah. Near the end of the tournament, we started seeing more and more of that. And, uh, you know, you, you, it, 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 you see the potential. But there's still there's still a ways there's to definitely go. Now, potential. I'm I mean, gonna, it is exciting. Right, at some, right. At, a lot of at parts. some points. Now, props go to the fans and to the teams because the teams were having a hell of a lot of fun. That for the first time, and, and Rance, you you were brought this up best is that you say you know, let's take a Counter Strike match for for instance. You get ten guys up on stage. These guys are gonna wet their panties. Crying and bitching and moaning about the fact that there's a commentator on the stage, you know, yeah. telling them this and tell. Or- well, and it's just the culture, though. I mean, you have the Counter Strike players. The way they started was a time just before all the coverage started right, and things right. started getting big. So they were used to being locked in their basement with their headphones on in complete silence and really getting into this game. These guys in the in the younger franchises now, like this WoW tournament, the the first match that they played at a real tournament, I guarantee there was a shoutcaster at and there was some some kind of pollution going on around right, them right. you know sound wise and so now that is just par for the course of being at a tournament for these guys and that's exactly why it's so usual but what i really yeah, what yeah. i really love a lot of those guys was, didn't even have their headphones on though right yeah the they didn't and, and yeah the wild players yeah. the wild players do they not use their headphones because they yep. have to talk to each other yep. right there and communicate so they have like one year in and one year out like this or you know something like that uh so that they can talk to each other but they also heard the commentators and it was really funny because there was a lot of like commentary between them both sometimes it was right. like you know in between rounds you know they they talk about the thoughts on the strategy and the player would be like oh no i i had mana shield on man i thought i was gonna make it <laughs> right it was almost like yeah. an interaction yeah. of coverage that we had never seen before I yeah. like you know rance or excuse me nice guy Ed and leroy were like cracking jokes and the guys were laughing and you know i mean it was almost like we're all buddies it, you know this is it was it felt like you could really tell that WoW players have a tight knit community. It doesn't matter if they're on this server, this server, or Alliance and Horde. Like that sort of like inner community competition is 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 obviously embraced by these. And guys. I can tell you, compared to the to the Warcraft three stuff, it, even though it does look like nine year olds chasing soccer ball most time, the WoW stuff was the most exciting aspect and and it was exciting to be a part of like there was just a certain energy coming from the players from the announcers from the camera walking around with this camera in front of their faces i mean like right. there was this excitement and buzz at, even though it's like it didn't look all that great maybe like it it wasn't focused but it was well, exciting especially when you see like a bunch of guys chasing another guy around right like, it's a little gray for me though because i mean for the warcraft 3 the players were in a different room yeah. and, and none of the spectators really felt compelled to get involved with the game because it didn't really have that same feeling as the two teams sitting there like they had in WoW. They had two teams right Dude, in front of them. There was a couple rabid fans out there like sparking it all. The most, the most, uh, I guess, emotion or excitement I heard out of Warcraft 3 was during the Kiwi interview <laughs> and when Pato lost his Beastmaster to a fucking level one doll. Like, oh, that yeah. was it, that you was know? Funny. Other than that, it was pretty... I look back at what we did at China... And, like, every single one of those Chinese players was giving us a fucking hell of a match. Yeah, and those were I don't matches. know if it's like we just play the safe game and so we just get these very typical games. But seeing a new sort of eSport develop, whether or not WoW will be successful, although I do think that it has the opportunity because, quite frankly, you can't ignore or dismiss the fact that millions of people fucking play this game. Yeah. There were obviously people there that weren't competing that came to watch the action and were loving every minute of it. So... There's something to be said. Something definitely to be said. Did we lose force officially, or what's going yeah, on? Yeah, we're having connection troubles with him. So Really? Yeah, uh, he's, he's off for now. So does that mean we shouldn't try to take some phone calls? Is there a tornado because in Oklahoma? It's not, it's or, not our, I, don't, I don't believe it's on our side. Let's I think try to take thing, some calls so. today. Guys, anything you want to chat about? 5v5? Maybe you've been playing some Shadowrun on the PC or the 360? Uh, BlizzCon? Anyone going to BlizzCon? Uh, Xbox Lite? Well, that no one fucking check out XB list. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Trump. Is it a big deal? Whatever. Uh, Halo 3 Custom Armors. Anything, anything goes. We're taking your phone calls. Uh, Rance has put up on the uh, uh, the screen there. You can Skype us uh, by using the program Skype, www.skype.com, at Epileptic Gaming, one word. If you don't know how to fucking spell it, it's right there on the screen Savant. for you. Savant. Right there. Mike, what's up, buddy? What up? What's, what's up, going dog? on? How you doing, jobbers? Chilling. As uh, Nietzsche would say. Uh, basically, just want to say a couple things here real quick. Grand Theft Auto 4, I got pretty much sick after San Andreas. I mean, how many sandbox games can they come out with? 
I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Savant. I mean, again, w- am I going to play the next one? Yes, but probably not because I'm just so like, oh, my God, I can't wait for the next sandbox game. More because, okay, this is the first sandbox game from Rockstar on a next gen system, you know. I mean, oh are yeah, you, you the can same beat up fuckers in HD now. Exactly. Great. Now, are you are you in the camp where you're just not going to play it at all, or are you at least going to try it out? Well, oddly enough, I don't own a 360. Yeah, I know I'm going to get booed out for that. It, it's not because of that because I'm fucking engaged, so I can't I afford it. I won't boo you. <laughs> I won't boo you. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I would love to play it just to sit down and see how it is. I I own all three games for the PlayStation uh, Two, but I've never finished any of them because I just fucking give up. Me too. Me too. Where Force, on the other hand, has like 100% unlocked on <laughs> everything. And I can't even imagine doing the shit like the ambulance missions and shit like uh, that. I like, agree. Some of those missions are retarded and slash impossible sometimes. Yeah, they're just the too taxi frustrating missions, to like, it's just like, forget about it. I don't want anything to do the with that. The appeal is the open sandbox and also the story. I don't care for people, man. I just fucking mow them over with the ambulance and say it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mission complete. Let's move on. What was the other yep. thing you had for us? And the other, the other little bit I want to say about is that fucking, and this is off topic here real quick, the people who play Command & Conquer 3 right now have fucking no lives. Right. I, I play on PC, I get owned right away. So yeah, I'm going to ask out. the people in the chat. Uh, to people RGS in the chat who are super world. cool to fucking help me out. So Yeah, definitely. And, There's a lot of guys uh, from EG that play CNC 3, both console and PC. So um, you're going to find, if I, you, I'm sure you can find someone to help you out. For sure. Hey, does that Rome play on PC or does he play on Xbox? He does both, brother. I play. Oh, I, I play, play both, then. but I'm <laughs> I'm definitely better on the console than the PC, dude. So I mean, if you want somebody that's going to teach you how to micro, don't ask me. But if you want somebody that's going to help you with build orders and at least give you a snowball's chance online, I can help you with that, dude. That's probably for me, man. Okay. So. Nice. Okay. All right, no we'll, hook, we'll yeah. hook you up. We'll give you fifty dollars for your date, and then we'll come back to the love <laughs> connection and find out how it went. <laughs> All right, awesome guys. Have a good one. Peace, dude. Fun. All right, peace. <laughs> peace. Uh, we're taking phone calls here on Epileptic Gaming. We're your one-hour video game internet television show. Yeah, call caller. in. What's call up? in. Hello, caller. Who is this? Is hello. This is Gregory. Gregor. Gregor. Hey, I haven't Gregor, heard yes. in forever. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, Gregor's I, officially I, turned into job I'm of the hunt. I'm studying for my English final, actually. Or not studying. I'm when, just are you do- when are you going to begin your force uh, summer plan of playing video games and submitting reviews to uh, EG? My force, uh, that is um, next week. All right. I, Congratulations. I'm recording my, my many obvious user reviews that I'm totally going to submit. So, Gregor, you're almost right. done with middle school then? <laughs> Is that what that's called? No, it, it's, it's seventh grade, not sixth grade. Seventh right? grade is middle school. That is middle where school, I come from, dude. I don't know. No, not where I come from. It's eighth and ninth grade or middle school in Cleveland. That's how it is here. Six, in seven, eight. You want to know ninth why? Is high school. It's because yeah. Suma is, is old like that. What? Actually, you know what? I, that Where I came from, it was junior high. That's seven called nine, normal. So. Yeah. That's because you're ugly. Junior high, <laughs> middle school. <laughs> That's because you're fat. Middle school is oh, fucking shit. Six, oh, six to eight. eight. Yeah, it's six to eight. Burn. That's like <laughs> fucking picking up dry ice. That is a cold burn. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you want to hang up on me? Well, <laughs> what do you want? Say something worth a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lower cross tits are no longer triangular. That's yes, I saw the video. video. Thank How about God. That? <laughs> finally, it doesn't. Yeah. Finally, it doesn't look yes. like we're using half of a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich to stuff her shirt with. <laughs> I'm real. I'm. At, I saw that trailer this morning with the PS1 and the PS2 comparisons, and I did got to say it looks cool. Um, but oh, will I, I go yeah. back and play it? I'm not sure yet. Just don't hang up on me because I don't know if you guys are prepared to deal with the emotional repercussions that could happen if you actually. You mean like 60 me. voicemails that are meaningless? I'm not, I'm not fucking ready for that. All right. Uh, what? All right. What, what, do you, you have, have anything else aside from Laura Cross? Yes. Uh, you got a bowl cut? Half yes. You got a bowl cut going. to go to? This what time? else? What's up? No, I actually Quick. I got a haircut yesterday. Nice. Your mom put the bowl. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. No, 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 no. I broke the bowl actually. All right, go the on. Bowl what, no what do you want to exist? What the do you bowl say, isn't Gregor? in here. <laughs> Rome. It-